uh, tournament player and labels his Rex appropriately so it's nice and easy for me. Uh, okay, so this is first round set in sink or swim between Tato and Dr. Cosmonaut. Uh, Tato in the blue. He's Japanese. Dr. Cosmonaut is Malay. So this is decentering. Uh, so tiny island in the center. This is like houseboat on steroids, basically. Tiny island in the center. Land all around the outsides. Plenty of resources on the outside. Both players choosing to TC their little islands. I feel like standard nomad civ should be strong here. Persian, Somalians. I must admit, this is my first time seeing this map. Camaro awesome too. Okay. Why Khmer? Can't wear that one out. Okay, so we're gonna see how yeah, I get it over. Yeah. I can't I can't think what would make Khmer specifically specifically be strong. Can you just a click up time with them? Okay. Yeah, I can't I can't work out what makes them specifically stronger than any other sieve. <laughs> Why does that not come up? I can see that LG. My alert sounds. There it is. Stream elements are just being a bit slow. Finally, a tournament with proper maps. LG, thank you very much for the sub, mate. That's 20 months in a row. So you've literally subbed to me every single month since I've had affiliate. I uh, yeah, really, really appreciate the support, mate. Uh, and LG, first week of May, beers in London. What do you think? So once LG and I confirm a date, we will expand the uh, invite list. First week of May, sounds good to me. Cool. So that should be the weekend of the 7th? Yeah, 6th, 7th, 8th. Yeah, that's it. Can I crash on the floor at yours? <laughs> that's my next question. course thank you very much mate appreciate that cool let's start planning mrs br has a baby shower being organized for that day so i thought that would be a good excuse to head to london and go for drinks soon as i'm gonna miss land madness maybe we can expand it into a bit more of a GB AOE community meetup thing on the Saturday. I'm thinking super casual, unofficial. Ah, oh, AR12. Thank you very much for the host. Welcome, welcome. Um, we cast your set earlier on, and hey, you played epic. You in game one. I th I'm like you, you were in a, such a solid position. I think you could have had that. That was literally three workers ahead. One fishing ship, two bills, two bills worth of either time for Doctor Cosmonaut. 
kind of through a little yet. Yeah, like, I think if you'd have dived... I was very happy that I played. You should be. Definitely should be. Um, game 2 was some big brain moves. Uh, we, we have kept that as a uh, clip on the stream. We loved it. <clears throat> but yeah, game 1, I think... I think you could have won that. If you'd have... <laughs> yeah, the way you were coming from Lame Heroes Bill. Um, if you'd have dived, you could have had it. Game 2 will be clipped and shown forever. Quite right, Captain Joe. Okay, Tato on the way to Feudal Age. All part of the plan, debate him into my TC. Uh, it, genius. But hello everyone that has just joined us. Uh, it's been an amazing night of hosts, so thank you for the wonderful people that have hosted me, and thank you to their wonderful viewers that stuck around. Uh, we will be continuing on for a little bit. I'll definitely do this Tato.Cosmonaut set, um, and then I think I might have to stop at that point, but we shall see how we're doing. Second dot on the way for Tato. Uh, Bam Vietnamese next set. Uh, Tato heading across to the outer ring. And this will be for Lumber Camp. There you go. Finds the wood line. Builds first Lumber Camp. Dr. Cosmonaut has also gone to the outside. Uh, Dr. Cosmonaut hits Feud Lage. Tato just 10 seconds behind. Uh, still a one bill lead for Tata. And galleys for both to kick us off. <clears throat> Tata again sending his bills out. Dr. Cosmonaut blocking it. The transport ship with his own. Which, <laughs> a really nice move. Okay, Dr. Cosmonaut. He's 2k. Very, very solid player. Uh, I don't know how much he plays water maps normally. But he's got two galleys heading across straight away. Uh, Tato has his two galleys out in defense. And now it's just a case of micro. The big Mavinsky, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> I think Cosmonaut needs to get the transport ship out of the way. And needs to be on this. He's only got three galleys, so a little bit behind on the second pair. Only two on gold. I think that is going to be a problem. He's only just going up to five on gold. He's not on that one, is he? No. But he's got the blacksmith on the outside. <clears throat> Fletching just about to complete. It is 4v4 at the moment, but a tra another transport ship? Is this a misclip? That's weird. It was a misclip, he's cancelled it. Ooh. Against a player of Tato's level, I think that will hurt. Okay, this is nice. Tato's built another dock on the outside. So all the fish can go over there out of the way. And now it's going to be six, seven versus five. Snipe the bills. It's a good good idea. I don't think he managed to get any. No. And Pato did get Loom, so Vils stay alive. I think... I don't know whether Cosmonauts got inside his own head and worried about Tato sneaking around the other, other side, but he... Could have been picking off one of those villas there. Instead, he's coming in to the north. Tato well ahead on galley numbers. And the micro is just ridiculous. Tato even able to deny the fourth dock. <clears throat> Only three for Tato himself, and Cosmonaut is diving around the side. Tato is going to have to pull his new reinforcements away. Could possibly loop back. He is going to do so. 
Uh, Tato is going to try and pick off some villagers here himself. And yeah, Vil's going down on Dr. Cosmonauts, starting island. Tato pulls his away. Uh, he's going to add a lumber camp to the north of his island, or northeast of his island. And now loops back round with his main fleet. The ridiculous thing is, Tato's killed six units, six eco units, and lost absolutely nothing himself. Manages to pull another transport ship of villagers away. Tato's main fleet is leaping around to the north. I think he's trying to find the fishing ships. Again, Cosmonaut coming in. Tato tries to shift to the north. And instead he goes on to whatever safe resource he can get, which in this instance is stone. And Tato's fleet going to try and snipe more villagers. Cosmonaut does exactly the same as Tato, pulling away onto whatever safe resource he can take. Tato accumulating reinforcements inside his docks. Unclear hate. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, so Tato... Is this a little bit down to the map or the TC location? So Tato's TC is against his main gold. When I say main gold, against his gold, which gives him safe access to that. Six... No, uh, hang on. Range. Six range versus six range. So... But the galleys and the TC can fire the same distance. But Cosmonaut, if he was against here, he maybe could protect those villages a little better and maintain gold production, but I don't remember what the tree situation was like. Still nine kill kills for Tato, zero for Cosmonaut. This is incredible. I wonder if Tato's going to pull that weak one away. I, I'm almost certain he'll know that that's been the case. Cosmonaut on the way to Castle Age, though. Tato, long, long way away. His macro behind this has not been the best. Needs to build a market. There it is. Needs to rush it down as well, which he is doing. And he's now going to try and pick off all of the fishing ships. Which he does not manage, just the one. Or two. He managed to get one there just as it was pulling away. But it's now 28 galleys. Tato's wood, yeah, I know. 28 galleys versus 20 though. Castle Age on the way for Tato. And Cosmonaut nearly in the... How is he not hitting? Uh, nearly in the castle, he's just about to complete now. Tato killing more units on Cosmonauts Island. Tato should lose his fish now, surely. Yes. Yeah, all of Tato's fish get cleaned up. I did wonder for a second whether he was going to go the whole game without losing anything. Cosmonaut using the market. So, so he's taken all of that stone on his starting island and he's now sold it all. where the war galleys upgrade was coming and he can't afford it now yeah this is over he hasn't got a transport ship he can't afford to build one he's got five on woods on the outside I had 
transports to the corners. Yeah, it gives you safer eco. Whereas here, this this is going to be ranged. <clears throat> Cosmonaut just waiting for ballistics to complete. He's got one tree left to take on his starting island. Who are the other big names in this bracket? Um, okay, so in the top division we've got Tato, ACCM, uh, <laughs> Dragonstar, T90, Bloodless, King Boo, Metu, uh, Ubetna. Who's the other one I'm thinking of? Cosmonaut, I think, is the other one. Yeah, it is. Uh, and yeah, Cosmonaut calls the GG. He's a long way behind in galley numbers. And with <clears throat> very, very little income. So Tato's hot favourite. I would have thought so. That is super, super strong start there for Tato. Yeah, Tato utilising that transport ship to get as much out to the corners as possible. Um, yeah, Cosmo coming over here, sees how much is there, must realise the situation. So yeah, anyone watching that will be playing this map, corners are your safe eco. 1-0 Tato. Tato right now, favourite in every map. <laughs> I don't think Tato has the build down. I think also, so we're going to watch Tato now play on Water Nomad vs. Dr. Cosmonaut. Um, I haven't seen this one, but I'm expecting Tato to have Charles' Boo and Tato play. Um, probably quarterfinal. Tato should win his group. Uh, King Boo, if he comes second, will play Tato in the quarterfinal. If he if he beats ACCM, probably is a bit generous to Boo. No, it's not actually. Boo, I think, has already... Boo definitely beat one of the people in his group. We watched it earlier. I think he's already beat the other as well. But yeah, so I would be very, very interested in seeing King Boo versus Tato on this map. I think I think Tato plays it too standard. And with that, I mean boy, Boo spoiling my predictions of an early exit. So Tato doesn't have any food lined up under here. So, he's heavy on wood, so he's now adding fishing ships. Cosmonaut is not. Cosmonaut is taking, uh, what are they called? Hmm, I have a thought. I'll chat to Boo about that later. No, he's taking water buffalo under his TC. Hmm, yeah. Boo, how good are Huns on here? Can they afford the dock and TC? Or can they not? But Cosmonaut, I think... I don't think so. They cannot. Ah, uh, that's a shame. I know they can't on Nomad. Yeah, okay. That's fine, don't worry. I was just thinking without having to build the houses, they might have been 
mental, but yeah, if they can't afford the TC and the dock, then no. So Cosmonaut <clears throat> is going to build his first, uh, his second building, so he's got the dock already. I think he forgot because he's got a lot of spare food. So Tato is researching Loom. Cosmonaut already has Loom. Yeah. And is on the way up. Tato doesn't quite have the food just yet. So he's on eight fishing ships. So 12 bills for Cosmonaut with a minute of either time. So yeah, it could have been on 14 on the way up. Uh, I think... I think optimal is about 13. So you just have enough on woods to add your houses at the start. The rest on food. You don't add any fishing ships. And then once you click up, you can then redistribute, obviously remembering to build your... So you'll have to add a few to wood to be able to afford your second Dark Age building. God, the water buffaloes are so loud. <clears throat> but Tato on the way out to add in another dock to give him more fish income. Should be using one of these fish and ships to try and find a few more water buffaloes. Because he does not... He doesn't have any. Okay, so Cosmonaut has galleys on the way out straight away. Do you always go mining camp for building boot? Yes. Because your TC should be on the wood line. I've been landing my TC on gold and making lumber camp so I can go a double bit and stuff. Okay, I see the logic. Yeah, I, f I think I feel like you want to protect the wood more than the gold. But yeah, Tato's gone up a little bit later and has been able to afford three. Um, yeah, able to afford three docks at the moment. Cosmonaut still only on two. And the first two galleys are out and they're going to be at the gold. But Tato has 200, 200 gold in the bank. Cosmonaut. Uh, sorry, Tato just pulls them back to TC. Sends them straight onto wood so they're not idle. And then in a second we'll go back to the lumber camp. I've uh, got mining camp. La la la. Words. So being lucky that my TC has been on wood and gold. Not always efficient for both though. So Tato with Fletching. Cosmonaut can't afford... Oh, it does have the blacksmith just about to complete. So, four versus three galleys. Tato with Fletching, though. Cosmonaut going to struggle to take that engagement. Especially with Tato's micro. It's just ridiculous. Mission galley fight, faster galleys versus faster firing galleys. Ooh, true. Okay, so Tato saturating gold a bit more than I'd expect at this point. His Berbers and not really on food as much as I expected. Oh, he's added fishing ships. I oh, know he was doing that during Dark Age. No, I'm being a pleb. Yeah, I'm kind of expecting him to put more bills on food at this point. Instead, no, just prioritizing wood and gold. Tato with the incredible micro again and again and again. <clears throat> so he's just killed off two galleys with taking barely even a shot 
against him. Um, yeah, I just... So that was an army of, what, nine? No, eight. Because you just lost four without killing any of Tatos. And now that galley army is just going to loop round to this woodline. Does Tato know? Uh, now he does. So, getting a little bit fortunate then that he didn't lose any of those to the TC, uh, but the tower on the gold means that these have to pull away, and Tato already has the reinforcement numbers to push them back further, and the micro to be moving in on the other side whilst pushing this away, and Cosmonaut calls it. I'd be interested to know whether Boo is encouraged about this map seeing Tato play on it or discouraged. Uh, 50 seconds idle. Mm. It's just such a big difference in the eco collected. Only four different? Was that the end? No, six different by the end. What was his uptime? Uh, 8.28 mm. Play all three games. Yep, it's a play all three set in the group stage. Uh, okay, so game number three, we've got Bog Islands, uh, a very weird map. Uh, so we've got Cosmonaut in the green as Byz Byzantines and Tato in the blue as Koreans. Uh, so yeah, they have the water buffalo and three rhinos on each island. There is fish in the center. Uh, other than that, Water buffalo dotted around the outside as well. Tato has an excellent map. Uh, yeah, I feel being close to the corner is quite nice. A very, very small wall off on the right hand side. Um, then potentially docks to the left. And yeah. Even the wall on the left is very short. Here, here. Would have to wall that gap as well, but not massive. A dock here, a gate, another dock. I imagine his first dock though might be on the fish at the front. That would secure him some gold, plenty of wood. I'm just having a look to see it, Cosmonaut. The gold is very, very far forward, uh, far back in the corner. And these two feel exposed. I mean, a wall off here and over there could be nice. And then a wall on this side. But again, it leaves you very, very open at the front. So, I mean, this this again will be very, very standard water play. Um, I still think Mongols could be really strong here. Uh, Koreans don't particularly stand out to me. 
I'm assuming Tasso is just having a bit of fun at this stage. Um, <clears throat> essentially, I'd love to see him go for as greedy an FC as he can manage and go for turtle ships. I've seen Mongols on this map in team games from Tata, actually. I, I can see the logic. Like the three rhinos should mean a crazy fast uptime. Almost with no fish, I would expect. I think it could have been something like scouts into sling viper pocket into sea drums and make game. Like, yeah, okay, fair enough. I think we'll see him play very, very standard here again, though. It'll just be your arch, arch, arch typical. Is that a word? I feel like it is. Uh, your arch typical water play. Um, yeah, six on woods to keep your ga your fire production uh, to keep your fishing ship production up, and the rest on food. As soon as he clicks up, there'll be more go and build a second number camp. The rest on stragglers, and then onto gold. I liked Squeaker's approach in the set we watched earlier. Uh, just trying something off meta, try and catch him out. And yeah, there we go, Tato on the way up, and everyone to wood as we expected. A couple of those across to gold, so we'll have a mining camp. Similar from Cosmonaut, but he stayed on the Rhino. Uh, okay, so he's got his double lumber camp. He's building the mining camp. Uh, okay, now moves across. As the Rhino finishes, moves across onto wood. Should have the wood for another... There it is. Actually, the other thing I didn't notice was how much closer T Tato was to the central pond. It means his walking distance to build that dock is considerably less. And he can stay and take shorefish, which Cosmonaut had to do, could do as well, but it's just a lot further away. Cosmonaut now getting loom. Tato already has it. And double bit axe complete stata. Ted, thank you very much for the host. Welcome everyone. Uh, this is Sink or Swim. So it's a 1v1 water map focused tournament I've been hosting. Uh, this is part of the group stage between Tato and Dr. Cosmonaut. You have joined us for game number three, uh, which is on Bog Islands. Ooh, nice pick off from Cosmonaut there, killing Tato's villager that's trying to wall off here. Uh, and the galleys are out now, trying to get some shots on the scout, but they miss. Cosmonaut going for fire galleys rather than regular galleys. Okay, Cosmonaut is going to come forward and try and... To just trying everything he can to catch up with these galleys and Tato is instead using his fishing ships to block keeping his galley mass alive prioritising military of Rico and Tato running straight back to his TC garrisons, turns and fights killing Cosmonaut Scout Tato can now get as much map information as he wants. Third dot coming up from Cosmonaut. Tato only on the two for the time being. And he's 
stone wall around his map. One, two, three, Zrock. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. And there's Tato's third. Just in front of his gold. That gives him some protection. And again, using the fishing ships to block the shots from the fire galleys and block their movement. <clears throat> Cosmonaut with the villager out here getting the repairs. <clears throat> and Tato's going to try and pick these off. Uh, being a little bit wary about the surround that could have come in there. Uh, but manages to get one. Again, now Tato using these wood lines to good effect. Just pulling away so that Cosmonaut can't get the attacks off. And just makes the pathing really awkward for him. Ten galleys versus six fires. Uh, Tata again, just being careful of the surround here. Uh, should have the numbers to be able to take this. Again, Tata just with these small groups either side, able to pull away every time Cosmonaut dives in. And Tata now in a position to cut off these the retreat. This is just snowballing so much. Tato just not losing any any military here. He lost one villager earlier on to the scout when he was building the gate. Otherwise, he's lost nothing. And GG's called. Clinical from Tato. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, just, as I said, completely clinical. Uh, similar idle times behind this. Uh, so, Vil counts comparable. Actually, Tato won down from the scouts sniping the Vil earlier on. Uh, but military is just so key. And I think this shows... I, I know it's Tato's micro. But I think, again, shows the supremacy of galleys over fires. But yeah, that, look at that. 12 to 1 KD. Just completely dominant. But I must apologise there. My 